In today's video, we're going to be learning about adding sources to Vidon XBMC. So, as always, the first thing we should do is from Vidon Box's main interface, open Vidon XBMC. Once in XBMC, we should navigate to Videos, Files, and down to Add Videos, and over to Browse so we can look for the particular source of our video files. Now, I have several options on this list, but I need to add my network location. I am currently using an SMB network to access a NAS server with my movies. So what I'm going to do is select server name, and I'm going to enter the IP address of that server. I'll select done and enter my username and password. And select OK. And as you can see, my source was immediately recognized. So I will navigate to that. I will select the appropriate folder, media, with all of my movies in it. And I will select OK. Now, if you'd like to add a second source, you can do that simply by selecting Add, and a box will come up that will allow you to browse for further files, but I don't need to add anything else today. So I'll remove that second source, and I will add my media folder. Now, my directory contains movies, so I'll navigate to that. And I want my movies to be scanned recursively so that Bygone XBMC finds all pertinent information relating to them, such as plot summaries, movie posters, list of actors, directors, etc. And I will select OK. I'd like to refresh info for all items within this path, yes, in case I've added this folder previously and there are new movies in it that I want Vidon box that I want the Vidon XBMC to find. So right now, it's scanning for all my movies, as you can see. It's finding all pertinent information related to them on the internet. And that's going to take a few minutes. But as it does so, we can back out and see that my library is being rebuilt and my new movies are being added in. And that's how we add sources on the Vidon box to Vidon XBMC. Thank you very much for watching.